Hello, grade nine. Uh, today, inshallah, we are going to study factoring by taking GCF. In the previous lesson, we studied how we can find the GCF, like 5x to the power of 2 minus 15x. Then, what is the GCF which we can find here? Then, the GCF, it will be equal. We are going to choose, this is 5 and this is 15. Then, L15 can be divisible by 5. So, we are going to nominate 5, so we can choose 5. And then, we have x square and x. We can choose the variable with the least exponents, which it will be equal x. So, this is how we can find only the GCF. After that, we want to find how we can use greatest common uh, factor to factorize. So we will put 5x at the beginning and then we are going to open a parenthesis. Second step, we are going to divide 5x to the power of 2 divided by 5x. Then 5 divided by 5, it will be equal 1. x to the power of 2 divided by x, we are going to subtract the exponent. So x, you know that we have an exponent equal 1 then it will be equal x only. Next step, negative 15x divided by 5x. Then negative 15 divided by 5, it will be equal negative 3. So this is how we can make factorize by taking GCF. Let me give you another question. In case we have negative 50 a to the power of 2 b to the power of 2 plus 15 a to the power of 3 minus 5 a so what is the GCF in this question? So the GCF, it will be, we can make factorize, like we said before. So we can make factor 3, or you can make column uh, uh, factorize to find the prime factorization for 50 and 15 and negative 5. And we can note that the first number here is negative 50. Uh, if you want to, to arrange these numbers uh, according to the power of A descendingly, it's okay, then it will be 15a to the power of 2 minus 50. So we can say that this one it will be 15a to the power of 3 minus 50a to the power of 2, b to the power of 2 minus 5a. So we have 15 and we have negative 50 and we have negative 5. We can look at the least number here, so we can find 5. L15 can be divisible by 5, L50 can be divisible by 5, so we can say that the, least, the GCF will be equal 5. Now we have a to the power of 3, a to the power of 2, and we have a, so we can put here, we can put a. After that, B, we have it only in the middle term, so but we don't have it in the first term or third term, so we will not use it as a GCF. So after that, we will put 5a outside, and then it seems like you are going to divide that 15 divided by 5, it will be equal 3. a to the power of 3 divided a, it will be a to the power of 2 minus 50 divided by 5, it will be equal 10. a to the power of 2 and a, it will be a. b to the power of 2, it will be the same, b to the power of 2. Negative 5a divided by 5a, so the answer it will be minus 1. So this is how we can use GCF to factorize. This is the first part. In second part, we are going to study another part for factorization, and this part is called factorized by grouping.
In this question, the question is 2a, the parentheses x plus y minus 3b x plus y. What is the GCF in this question? So we want to find the GCF in this question. What do you notice? So I have the GCF in this question. It's a parentheses, which means I have x plus y. Then we want to factorize by taking GCF. Then we are going to put x plus y outside and then we will open a parentheses to find the remainder. Then 2a divided by x plus y, x plus y divided by x plus y, so it will be equal 1, which means we have 2a minus x plus y divided by x plus y, so it will be 3p. So this is the answer for this question. So we have 2ax plus y minus 3bx plus y. So in this case, we have already a common is a parenthesis. A common, it's not just a number. So we have here, we have a parenthesis x plus y, and we have another parenthesis x plus y. So we are going to choose it as a GCF. We will put the GCF outside, and then we will start to divide. Then it will be 2a times x plus y. Then we have 2a minus 3b. What about if you have another question? We have now another type of uh, questions, and we want to solve it. In this question, we want to factorize by taking GCF. So factorize by taking GCF. What do you notice know in this question? When we look at the numbers here, which we have, so we can note that I have the first one is A minus B, and the second one is b minus a what do you not see here this is a minus b and this is b minus a then this is not r exactly the same so we need to change b minus a to make it a minus b or vice versa in this case we will write for the first number we are going to keep it the same which is 2x and then we will open a parenthesis a minus p. And then we will take negative 1 as a common. So this one was b minus a. If we are going to take negative 1 as a common, so we will reserve the two numbers. b, it will be negative b. Negative a, it will be positive a. And already negative 1, which we will take it, we, as I said, we will take negative 1 as a common. To the sign at the middle, it was negative 5. Then negative 5 times negative 1, it will change into positive 5y. And then we have a minus b. a minus b. Okay? So once we have the same parentheses, but we have different sign like a minus b, b minus a, so we are going to take negative 1 as a common, and then we will change. Now we can notice that we have the same a minus b and a minus b. So we can say now that the GCF, it will be equal a minus b. Then we are going to solve the question. How we will solve the question now? We are going to take a minus b. And then we will open a parenthesis, 2x times a minus b, we will cancel a minus b with a minus b, so the rest it will be equal to x, plus a minus b times a minus b, it will be equal 5y. So we have a minus b, 2x plus y. So once we have the same parenthesis, a minus b and a minus b, so we have GCF, it will be A minus B, we will take it out, and then we will divide the original polynomials, like 2x A minus B divided by A minus B, then the rest it will be equal to x, B minus A, it will be, as 
we made before, we took negative 1 as a common, so negative 5 becomes positive. And also, in case if it was positive, it will change into negative. And your target to find the same parentheses, you have A minus B and you have A minus B, and it's more easier now to take A minus B as a common before the parentheses. We will move now to another type of factorization by using grouping. We cannot see that I have one, two, three, four. Is there any uh, GCF for all the numbers in front of us? We have three and we have 12 and we have two and we have eight. So we don't have a number for all of them. Then we are going to divide this uh, polynomial into two parts. We will divide them into groups. How we will uh, divide them into groups? We will, we can choose first and second together and then third and fourth together. So let me check with you. We will divide, as I said, we will put the first one. This is the first group and this is the second group. I can choose first and second together. So I have 3 n to the power of 3 minus 12 n to the power of 2. So this is the first group. Second group we have 2 n minus 8. Next, we are going to search about GCF between 3n to the power of 3 minus 12n to the power of 3. What is the GCF between them? So we can say that it's a 3, and I have n to the power of 3 minus n to the power of 2, so I have n to the power of 2. Then I'm going to open a parenthesis. 3n to the power of 3 divided by 3n to the power of 2, so I have n on the n. Negative 12 divided by 3, it will be negative 4. Let's move to the next group. I have 2n minus 8. Then 2n minus 8, what is the GCF between them? So I have 2. Then I'm going to open a parenthesis. 2n divided by 2, it will be equal n. 8 divided by 2, it will be equal 4. After that, what do you notice here? Hmm. What do you notice? We notice that we have same parentheses. So I have n minus 4 and I have n minus 4. So we can write GCF here in this question. It will be n minus 4. So we will use n minus 4 as a common. Then we will start to divide and find the remainder. So it will be 3n to the power of 2 plus 2. So this is how we can make factorized how we can make factorize by using GCF. So this one is n minus 4, and this one is 3n to the power of 2 plus 2. So this is how we can make factorize by using grouping. We divided it into two parts, and then uh, we found the GCF for each group, and then by the end, we found... Okay, so this is another example. We have 8t to the power of 3 plus 20t plus 14t to the power of 2 plus 35. It's not necessary to choose first and second. It's up to you. We can choose the numbers which we can find a common between them. Then we can try with first and second, third and fourth together, and we will check. When you will know that you made it right, once you have the same uh, parentheses with the same numbers inside. So I have, this is the first group, I'm going to take first and second. I will divide between them. I will separate by 
the sign plus, then it will be 8 t to the power of 3 plus 20 t. In second group, I have 14 t to the power of 2 plus 30. Now, 8 and 20, what is the GCF between them? You can find it directly. Both of them can be visible by 4 if you want to make factorize. So it will be 8 divided by 2. It will be equal 4 divided by 2. Equal 2 divided by 2 equal 1. Then, uh, second, we, are, we have to make factorize for 20. Then 20 divided by 2 equal 10 divided by 2 equal 5 divided by 5 equal 1. Now we want to choose the GCF. Then I have 2 and 2, so we will use 2. And I have one more 2 and 2. Then it will be 2 times 2 to the answer it will be equal 4. So the GCF for the first group, it will be 4 for 8 and 20. t to the power of 3 and t, so we have t. We will choose the variable with the least exponent. Now we have 8t to the power of 3 divided by 4t. It will be 2t to the power of 2. 20. 20 divided by 4, it will be equal 5. 20t divided by 4t, it will be equal 5. Plus, I have 14t to the power of 2 plus 35. What is the GCF between them? Both of them are in a uh, multiple of 7, right? So we can say 14 divisible by 7 and 35 divisible by 7. So we can choose 7. If you want to use the same method to make factorize to find the GCF, it's okay. t to the power of 2, and we don't have any variable in the second, so we have only t. Then 14t to the power of 2 divided 7, it will be 2t to the power of 2. Plus 35 divided by 7, it will be equal 5. Now we have what denotes. We have what? You cannot hear that you have 2t power 2 plus 5, and I have 2t power, power 2 plus 5. So this one, it will be GCF. So we are going to choose 2t to the power of 2 plus 5 as GCF, and then I'm going to open a parenthesis. To the rest here for the first, it would be equal 4t plus 7. So this is how we can make factorize by using grouping when we have a polynomial consists of four terms. So we can divide them into two groups. We can choose first and second. We can choose the third and fourth and put them in a group. Next. We have to find the GCF between the two binomial 8 and 20. We found that it was 4. t to the power of 3 and t, you will choose the least exponent. So you are going to, to use t. And then you will start to divide the whole polynom binomial by the, the monomial 8t to the power of 3 divided by 4t. It will be 2t squared. 20t divided by 4t, it would be equal 5. And then we are going to make the same with the second parentheses. And we will choose between 14 and 35. The GCF was 7. And then we will divide uh, 1 by 1. 14t to, to t squared divided by 7. It will be 2t squared. 35 divided by 7. It will be equal 5. Then by the end we have the answer. 2t squared plus 5 times 4t plus 7. This is another uh, question. Factor what is in common? So we have 4q power 4 
minus 8 cube power 3 plus 12 cube power 2 minus 24 cube. So we can look at the numbers. We have 4 and 8 and 12 and 24. So we can find a common factor between all the numbers. So we have to use the common first, the GCF. So we have a GCF was 4 cube. Then we are going to divide 4 cube power 4 divided by 4 cube. It will be cube power 3. And then negative 8 cube power 3 divided by 4 cube. It will be negative 2 cube power 2. 12 divided by 4. It will be equal 3 cube. Minus 24 cube divided by 4 cube. It will be minus 6. Now we have what? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. We have polynomials. Then we have 2. Divide it into two groups. How we will divide it into two groups? We will choose first and second, third and fourth. Do you remember? So we will uh, choose Q here. So we will divide now. I have Q power 3 minus 2Q power 2 plus 3Q minus 6. So we wrote the first group by the blue uh, color and the second one by the green color. We will start to make factorize for q power 3 minus 2 q power 2. It will be the, the GCF between them here. It will be equal to uh, it will be equal uh, q power 2. Then the remainder it will be q minus 2. And this one 3 q minus 6. So the remainder we talk uh, GCF like 3. So we have q minus 2. Now take the GCF of the two numbers, q power 2, q minus 2, plus 3, q minus 2. And don't forget that already you have 4g at the beginning for q. Then also we are going to use q minus 2, so the rest it will be q to the power of 2 plus 3. So sometimes we have a GCF between all the terms in the polynomial, so we have to start with it at the uh, first step and then you will move you have po uh, a polynomial consists of four terms so we have to choose four uh, uh, three we have to divide it into two groups each group it will consist of two uh, numbers and then we are going to find the gcf and then we will continue to simplify or to uh, factor a polynomial by grouping